Science Europe highlights the experiences of the women chairs of its working groups. Who are your role models? So my, my first role model uh, was Marie Curie, actually. I, I read her biography when I was a teenager, when I was still in high school. And that, that for me was, yeah, that, that's when I decided I wanted to be a scientist. What challenges did you face in your career? In terms of challenges, um, yeah, I, I started my studies um, in the first degree in um, uh, engineering, electronic engineering, uh, and then I, I moved uh, to physics. And, and kind of very early on, uh, as a sort of a girl, a woman in science, you are made to feel that you don't quite belong in science and engineering. And I remember an episode when I was studying physics in Lisbon, uh, and even though you know there were a lot of female professors, and Portugal is a country where there's actually quite a, a number of female researchers, but still, I, I remember one a male professor uh, at the time. This was well a long time ago. It was already quite old by then, telling us in class that women should not be physicists. You know, physics was not for women. And also, I remember in in a, in a in a conversation also telling several of us that we should move to a, a different topic, to a social science topic. And yes, so so you are kind of made to feel that you don't belong. What support did you receive, and how could your institution or colleagues have better supported you and other women? In, in relation to this challenge, there was no support. It's just one of those things you had to hear, you know. But I actually wanted to highlight a, a, a positive example of support I received in, in the last few years uh, in relation actually to the Matilda effect. Someone else gets credit for something uh, a woman uh, has done. And, and, and typically that it's, it is a man who gets that credit. And I'm not going to be specific about the example, but I I, I was I worked very hard on a, a report, became became an expert on a topic, but uh, the perceived credit went to my male colleague, and and when it came to it, my male colleague got invited to be on a panel on on a committee on that topic to um, on that topic, and I was the expert on the topic, and I was not invited, which which was very disappointing and disheartening, but. And I think this is such, this is an example of what to do. My, my boss at the time, when he realized I was not going to be in a committee, he, he asked why. And I said, well, I was not invited. I was not perceived as the senior uh, expert on this on this topic. So he just contacted, you know, the, the, the institute responsible for those invitations and said, well, I think Maria is the person for this committee. And if you don't uh, take Maria, we don't send anybody to this committee from our organization. So this is a positive example of support um, yeah, in a situation where yeah, I was being basically uh, discriminated against. Based on recent figures, what action would you recommend to policymakers and the research community to enhance gender equality? One figure that was quite striking is this figure uh, at the EU level. So women represent a, a great, a greater share of researchers um, in the youngest age cohorts compared to men. There are more female researchers at the, at the youngest ages. Uh, but this pattern uh, reverses in favor of men in the in the over 55 researcher population. So, so that population uh, the, in the senior positions uh, has a larger male representation. There's this image of the scientist as the sort of the hero scientist. And it's typically, you know, the, the male hero of science. 
um, and, and this is a very male-oriented image of, of the scientist. It is changing, but I think we need to be aware that that for many of us, including women, that this is the image of of the scientists. And, and actually, where, where I work at the Dutch Research Council, we are trying to change that. And it, 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 I mean, trying to get away from this implicit bias where you have a certain image of what it is a scientist, and then you choose scientists to fit that that image so we have to to move away from that be aware of those images and try to think that scientists don't need to be like that what advice would you give to your younger self i i wish i was more aware of this gendered context of academia i wish there was more education and and that's also something i think we need more education about these these biases for, for for everybody, because for me, there were times uh, where I felt it was me, right? There was something wrong with me, and maybe I, I didn't have what it takes to be a scientist, and maybe I was fi I I was yeah up against uh, uh, biases uh, that were much more. Uh, general and systematic than 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 just me so when the professor told me uh yeah physics was not for girls i should study something else it was part of a broader pattern uh, so i i wish i was more aware of of this mm -hmm.